what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we finally have an update on the scream franchise uh, a few months ago uh, late last year we were told that spyglass media had acquired the rights to the uh the property the franchise uh, known and made famous by director the late Wes craven and writer kevin williamson or kevin williamson uh they have acquired spyglass media they had acquired the rights to do a to the screen franchise and they're working on another screen film now it's been very silent since but today we finally have an update we actually know who the new director will be uh we have some updates on some returning people who worked on uh or returning person who worked on the last few screen movies over the course of the franchise and uh some small plot details nothing concrete and I'm going to be sharing those here today in this video and kind of just going over uh, where I see the film going and what I would actually like to see because I've been thinking about it a bit more. Uh, just having some input from some other people who have been uh, commenting and throwing their ideas around. So getting into it, uh, Discussing Film is reporting that Screen 5 is in development. Now, what's interesting is the fact that they're, they're saying it's, uh, it's called Screen 5. Now, whether or not... This is actually going to be a continuation of the of the first four films is yet to be seen uh, or whether or not it will even be called Screen 5. We don't know that either. Hopefully it is a continuation of Screen 4. Uh, I don't care if it's called Screen 5 or not, just as long as it's a continuation of Screen 4. Now, the movie is in development and is looking to start filming in May. Um, now, that's right around the corner. And the directors, the uh, keyword there, directors, uh, the, the, the filmmakers behind Ready or Not, directors uh, Matt Bettinelli Open and Tyler Gillett, uh, they will be the two directing the film. Now, what I want to say is I think that's a very, very interesting uh, choice. These two uh, clearly understand the genre when it comes to just, just based off of Ready or Not, that one film. I can tell that these two, they have a very unique vision when it comes to balancing and implementing comedy into a horror movie. Uh, kind of into a thriller, if you will, horror thrillers. Uh, Ready or Not, I believe, was a perfect blend of horror comedy. It had a bit more comedy than I think you would expect in a screen film. Maybe that's just me. I never really... Uh, maybe it's just because of the fact that the the screen franchise, it had comedy in it, but I don't feel like it, it was as comedic as Ready or Not was. Not as comedic as Ready or Not. So for, them, for these two to get this opportunity to make a screen film... Uh, I believe they're gonna make uh, they're gonna capitalize on this in the best way possible. I don't think they're gonna screw this up. If they do screw it up, I'll just I'll just come on here and give the movie a bad review and, and tell it like it is. Uh, but what was also interesting was that uh, Kevin Williamson, who wrote the original Scream as well as Scream Two, and he wrote Scream Four, he is executive producing this film. Now, what I find interesting about that is it's a similar situation where we have. Uh, from Halloween 2018 we have John Carpenter one of the originals who was involved with the original work uh, he's gonna be there to kind of give guidance to these two new directors uh, fresh off of their hit ready or not kind of just guide them and give them try to, I, I guess he's gonna be there uh, I would expect they're gonna use him for input it's kind of say oh how do you think Wes would have done this and then they'll probably go from there I feel like Kevin Williamson is gonna be used for as much input as he can uh, give them but still, they should go out there and make this their own thing at the end of the day. Don't try to be like Craven. Uh, yes, it would be nice to see if they can make it feel Craven-esque. But still, make it your own thing. This is your opportunity. And you have a... Uh, even if it's not Craven's directorial style, uh, these two have already shown that they are very good with the... They, they offer very good camera work. Because Ready or Not, I believe, was uh, amazingly directed. And... I'm interested to see what they would do with a screen film. Now, the plot details as of right now are scarce, but a discussing film is saying that it will follow a woman returning to her hometown to try to find out who has been committing a series of vicious crimes. Uh, as of right now, it's still not known if it will follow the story of the past four screen films or pave a new direction for the franchise. Um, and then according to Bloody Disgusting, the studio Spyglass is developing the film and production companies Radio Silence, Out Outer Bank Entertainment, and Project X Entertainment will be behind the film as well. Now, uh, just to go off of those plot details, that's not really too much to go off of. Uh, sounds very familiar to Scream 4 
and of course returning to a town a lot of us are already hoping diehard screen fans are hoping that this means this is Sidney Prescott they're referring to who is returning to a town to investigate a series of murders now what I would like to say is this doesn't have to be Sydney because it says she's returning to her hometown. Woodsboro is the hometown of quite uh, a quite few other people that we know. And one particular character that I believe they could be referring to who may in fact be the main character going into Screen 5 is Kirby. I could easily see Hayden Pantier being our new main character. And then going from there, uh, we focus in on her for this, for, for this film. Uh, not saying we won't have our original our original three back. They're going to be involved, but I, I can see Hayden Pantier kind of just picking up the mantle to kind of just represent that those three those three characters are kind of taking a back seat, uh, and we're going to pave the way to kind of get past the torch onto a new group of uh, a new group of characters to carry the franchise. Uh, they're still going to be there. It's just not going to be heavily centered on them. Uh, now. What I would do is I would have Hayden Pantier's character Kirby return to the town. Uh, she was drawn to the town, or not drawn, or kind of yeah, she was she was drawn there. Let's have Kirby drawn to the town just from the murders going on in Woodsboro. Uh, it's been a couple of years since the last stab film has been released. Uh, no stab movies have been released at all. Uh, the studio just hasn't been coming up with any ideas. The, the film franchise has been quite dead. Uh, no new ideas have been uh, coming out, so they haven't made any new stat films. Uh, you know how Scream has that movie within a movie in the series. So let's say that Kirby, when she gets there, this is what leads to us uh, having the reunition or, or bringing back in and reuniting Gail, Sydney, and Dewey because she'll end up getting in contact with those three. They'll come into town and then they'll all be investigating what exactly is going on here and who is terrorizing Woodsboro. Uh, and at this point, what I would like to do or see, uh, I would like to see the killers be a group of kids who are basically just there. This is, and I think Kevin Williamson at one point, he did have plans to do something like this for Scream 3. I would like the killers to be a group of kids who are basically just stab fanatics. They're, uh, massive fans of the stab franchise. They're clearly not all that, all that well together, um, mentally if they are about, if they're doing what I'm telling you they're doing. They essentially orchestrate this entire killing spree uh, in the hopes that they can become immortalized on screen on screen in another stab film the same the same way previous ghost faces have uh, in the franchise. They want to be immortalized on screen and a part of that franchise. Uh, they're that desperate to get another stab film. And then what I think would be a, another interesting twist is if we find out that Gail Weathers is in on it. Because uh, if you keep him, if you recall in Screen Four, Gail Weathers uh, was kind of going through like a life, a crisis in terms of her career. She she was a very successful journalist in the original film, and now at this point in her career, uh, Sydney Prescott is a well recognized author for her book Out of Darkness, and she's kind of jealous of that. Uh, and she's struggling to find her own footing in the journalism field and the world of writing. So she was a little bit frustrated with that. And then come a few years down the road, uh, she's been so desperate to get her career up and running again. She uh, She's also revealed to be involved in this. And she orchestrated this whole killing spree with these group of kids. Uh, so the benefit and the payoff for both of them would be the kids can potentially now get another stab film based off of them. And Gail Weathers now has an, another major story to bring her life back to relevancy, or bring her career back to relevancy, rather. Um, and then also there may be some uh, interesting tidbits here going on between Gail and Sydney. Maybe there's some uh, kind of drama that's been going on since the events of Screen Four. You can all tie you can tie that into all of Gail's motive and kind of just make it a big ordeal. I think that would be very interesting to see. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to all my social media accounts on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to record in the future or cover in the future, rather. Uh, and then also in the comment section, I have a I'm gonna have a link to this Facebook group. Again, if you want any updates on Jeepers Creepers, any updates on anything regarding this channel, join this Facebook group down in the comment section. It's gonna be pinned. Uh, in the comment section. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.